Time management is tricky. It's very challenging because we have so many things to do in our day or uh, we have a lot of things that are coming up that we don't necessarily have to do today, but we have a clear calendar today. So how do we deal with all that? Well, there I, it's really simple. It's a quick trick. Thank you here to uh, Mickey Steck, who has requested a quick video on time management. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you what I do. We'll keep it really simple. We'll keep it really simple on kind of how, what I do. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, how are you successful with time management? What I do is I do two things, really just two things. I have a calendar for anything for, that's a, a, a time oriented, right? Where there's a, a scheduled meeting event. Calendar is a perfect place for that. And as additionally, I, a, a lot of these times these days, there's a lot of remote Zoom video calls. And so those kind of video calls are perfect because then you can just click on the calendar and then boom, you're in the meeting. And that's perfect for a calendar. The second item is a task list. And that task list is just a daily task list. You have just a checklist of things that you need to accomplish in that day. And really, these are the only two things that you have to do. It's really straightforward. It's really simple. Perhaps one of the things that I do is uh, make sure that I t uh, tackle one of the more challenging, uh, bigger tasks in the day. I make sure to cover that one first, and that usually will leave room for the smaller task list items that can be accomplished throughout the day in between each of the meetings. Let's start by looking at a calendar approach. What does your calendar look like? Make sure your calendar has everything covered, including some time to allocate toward your, toward your to-do list, right? You need Your task list needs to be accomplished, and you do definitely want some time on your calendar in order to achieve this. Now, I'm taking a quick look here at my actual calendar. I've covered up a few items. However, if we kind of zoom in here to take a look, let's just walk through my calendar today. And you'll see at the top here is Hackathon. We have a week week-long hackathon here at PubNub where the engineers are using various technologies to find new innovations that we can add into the company on a day-to-day -day basis or just something neat to, to build and learn and grow your knowledge base. So we have that hackathon that is being covered. Something you might notice is that I've got a pretty regular morning routine here. I wake up and work out at 5 a.m. This might seem pretty early uh, because, it, I mean, it's kind of early. It would be much better, you know, waking up at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds so nice. Uh, though 5 a.m. seems to give me just enough time to cover the morning routine, which includes workout and the shower, and then you also want to uh, make breakfast and then make any preparations for the day. And then we go through and we have you know, just making sure we, we need to make sure that we've covered all our bases, like any slacks or emails or messages that will help cover. And then we're, now we're into the recording hour where I uh, do uh, some recording. Usually it only takes about half an hour or less to do a recording. Uh, and you just do that every day. Just make sure that's a repetitive everyday type thing. And then we get into the the, the meat of the meeting. Sometimes things are scheduled or <laughs> you can see quite a few over schedulings here. Sometimes though, we do get uh, we do get a chance to have meetings that are on in the right slots so you can see the bulk of the video calls are going to be uh, for me it usually be 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. those are usually the video calls that occur and more often we have uh, a lot of uh, either larger meetings or smaller meetings or customer oriented meetings uh, a lot of that goes into this calendar here and then any time in between where possible we, we fill in and prep for the day and try to complete our task list every day kind of looks like here on the calendar it's, it's like a Waking up here at uh, around uh, 5, 5 a.m. and then we go basically until around 6 p.m. and we kind of want to have everything done, right? We want to have wrapped everything up, all the task list items are done, or if we didn't finish one of the task list items, they just can move it to the next day if needed. Uh, and then just now it's free time and we're good to go and make sure to go to sleep on time so you can wake up the next day. From a time management perspective, it's really good to have a daily to-do list, a task list. Now, what you'll do is you'll make sure to put everything on this task list that you need to have accomplished before the end of the day. What I'll usually do is uh, prepare that list the previous day in the, in, in the afternoon and evening hours so that I know and can sort of expect what I need to accomplish in the next day. Really, it is. It's a very simple, it's a checklist of things that need to be done. And if we take a quick look here, Google has a recommendation for how to do successful time management. And really, yeah, come down to a task list. Uh, of course, you need a calendar, right, for all those scheduled meetings, but also having a task list, a, a to-do list for the day. Oh, it, check it out. Yeah. Uh, and I do have longer running task lists that kind of stay at, you know, at the top of a document that 
will be accomplished over time. But really that daily to-do list is critical, I would say. It's, just, it's the most critical to have that to-do list. And then you can just uh, select which item you wanna work on next, uh, finish that item, check it off, and then move on to the next one. Google has shown here through um, indeed.com a example a list of how to accomplish this. Uh, though I would say it's a little too much. It's too much. You don't need to worry about, you know, this so much. Although I do say uh, the harder tasks, try to do those first. No, it's been just try to get the harder tasks done first. The things that take the most time and get those out of the way. And then you can fill in all of the smaller tasks throughout in between your meetings a lot easier. There is a focus on one task at a time. Though one of the things I like to do very often is, I, I suppose you can kind of count this as a task, is go through all email, slacks, messages, and other kinds of uh, communication, sort of like communication time, right? I call it communication time. And I, I jump between a whole bunch of uh, apps that we have, uh, Jira, Wiki, Confluence, uh, Salesforce, other meeting notes over here, things, uh, uh, email, Slack, it's just a whole bunch of things. And I jump around and I kind of, look at each one independently just it got like communication hour right i'm just kind of jumping through that this one is uh plan for unexpected occurrences i actually think that's a pretty good tip in general make sure that you've got time throughout your day that you do have all openings for unexpected occurrences and guess what if you don't have any unexpected occurrences then you can complete your tasks uh, and make sure to get those done this one's critical for me often we have a lot of customers right we have over a billion active connected devices on PubNub and what we need to do is make sure that we cover all the needs for our customers and prospects who are uh, onboarding to the network. And typically that means uh, a lot of extra you know, communication or, or calls that occur throughout the day or additional documentation or how to's that needs to happen. Uh, and so that one's actually pretty useful, I would say as well, though it really comes down just to these, this simple, the simple list here, get a calendar and you've got a daily to do list. 